And now we come to the thrilling final episode of our radio drama. Old Pete Belden, driver of the Jetney from Carsonburg to Copper Springs, has a double load today. Pete's ancient bus is carrying the Flying Bee payroll and a passenger, his niece Betty. Little do Pete and Betty suspect as they chug over the desert wastelands that just around the next curve, shifty Sam Hicks and his henchmen lie in wait. It hasn't been the same without you, Betty, but now that you're back, you'll find nothing's changed and nothing's happened. Nothing's happened? Why, well, I heard you had two new horses. I can't wait to give them a run. You be careful where you ride these days. Got a band of rustlers operating in the neighborhood. Oh, Pooh. You don't seem very scared, carrying the payroll in every month. But you better stick close to home. All right, Uncle, don't worry. Now, how have the new... Stay right there, buddy. Where's the flying bee payroll? Yeah, it is, Sam. Give it here. And tie him on the horse. What about the girl? We didn't count on her being along. We'll tie her in the car. Let's get going. Meanwhile, Betty, frantic at her uncle's danger, has undone her bonds and is starting for help in the crippled car. Sheriff Tom, hurry, hurry. Betty. Where's your Uncle Pete? We were held up, Tom. Three men. They took the Flying Bee payroll and headed up toward Pine Gap. And they took Uncle with them. Come on, the house, quick. We'll get the boys together and we'll go in. No, I'll take the jitney into town and get my car. All right, Betty. Hello? Ring up the boys, ma'am. Tell them to meet me at Pine Creek Forks. The Flying B payroll's been robbed. Pete Bell has been kidnapped. Tell the boys to ride. Hey, George, where'd you put that ammunition? It's in your desk. Which drawer? The middle one. I declare, I'll never get these dishes done. Looks like a storm coming up, too. Hello, what is it? It's Fred there, Mrs. Jones. Chef rounded up a party. I'll call him, May. He's out in the yard. Sending the Pine Creek book. Hurry, Sophie. Fred! Oh, Fred! Hello! Posse, Fred! Sheriff wants you at Pine Creek Forks! They're riding! Oh, all right! Go, oh, boss. Steady. Hey, Joe! We're saddling. Tom wants a posse. Something stern, I reckon. All right, Fred. Let's stop that windmill. We're going to storm. See you later, Ma. Be careful, Fred. Hello, May. They've gone. Have you got the other boys? Some of them. I'm calling the blacksmith now. Hello? Charlie. Payroll robbers. Meet the sheriff at Pine Creek Court. Pick up Bill and Frank on the way. I'm riding, Harry. Just set their wagon out of the way. Where's your pa, Junior? He's back on the far section with the reaper. Hey there, Bill. Get down off of it. I can't hear you. Wait a minute. Now, what you say? Somebody held up the jitney. Probably the Hicks gang. Bring your horse. They've headed for Pine Creek. Guess they're going through the gap. Hurry up and I'll meet you, Franks. And so, as the storm breaks around them, the sheriff's posse gathers at Pine Creek Forks, prepared for action.
men. Hicks and his gang have been around this country too long. We're going to clean them out today. But we got to remember that old Pete Bellin is with them, and we don't want them to get hurt. All right, boys, let's hit out. We're gaining on them. They've seen us, Tom. Right, fellas. They probably have fresh horses at the creek. Hold up there. We'll set fire to the gap and stop. Whoa. Oh, 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 oh. 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 Slim, you chop a couple of them small trees. Right. We'll spread a fire they can't get through. These are pretty green for burning, Sam. Grass is dry as tinder here. That'll get it started. Shorty, yeah. you get some of that dead wood burning in a hurry. Grass is catching on. It's dry, all right. How about the tree, Slim? Out ready? Move back. He's coming now. Got another one farther back. The Apache's closing in on it. Here they come. We better hold them off till this fire gets too hot to cross. Please, Charlie, over that All right, sir. That fire's sure too hot for us, Sheriff. And they can get out of range any time they want to mount. Looks like they'll give us a slip. But why couldn't you get through in my car, Sheriff? They might do something to Uncle if we don't hurry. Now, I'll bet we could get through in the car if we got a good start. Mm, it's worth a try. Who will drive it? Don't forget he's my uncle, Sheriff. I'll drive it through myself. You'll drive nothing. Get out and get behind the tree. They're mounting up, Sheriff. They're heading down the creek. All right, Jake, let's go. Two of you men come with us. The rest of you keep firing. Sleep! Come on! Sheriff. Sheriff. Come on. Follow me! All right, all right. Come on, come on, this way! Come on! All right, Sheriff. Come on! Keep going, boys! safe and sound, with Betty in her new car. And to our friends of the radio audience, we bid a pleasant good night. <laughs> <laughs>